everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to braise Napa Jack's Merlot Barbecue Cross Rib Steaks. Okay, so tonight I have two beautiful cross rib steaks that I've gotten from the store. They have been aged in my refrigerator and I'm happy and ready to go. Now, these guys either need to be marinated if you want to grill them, but if you're going to cook them otherwise, you're probably going to want to braise them. It's going to take a while to break down some of that connective tissue in there, and they'll be really tough if you otherwise don't do that. So we're going to braise it. That's going to be roasting with moisture, okay? So I have a baking dish, and we're going to put everything in the baking dish and throw it in the oven. So I'm using this amazing sauce tonight that I, I just love their sauces, their barbecue sauces. This is Napa Jack's Merlot Barbecue Sauce, and if you have not seen my review on this, make sure you do. It's really, really tasty. It is sweet, it is rich with uh, Merlot wine, it's tangy, it's savory, it's delicious, and it goes beautifully with beef, okay? So let's get started here. We are going to make a bed of vegetables before I put my beef in, okay? And they're gonna go into my roasting pan. Now I've got some carrots, you can use carrots, you can use celery if you want. I'm using carrots, some green pepper tonight, as well as some mushrooms, okay? Mushrooms always go nicely with beef, in my opinion. So I'm just chopping them into chunks. These will also be edible at the end, and they'll be nice and um, full of flavor from the wine and the barbecue sauce. I'm serving this alongside some rice tonight, so get some rice made if you are looking to do something like this. Or you can serve it with potatoes. I'm just cutting this into chunks. It doesn't have to be perfect in any way, shape, or form. Just chunks. Now these steaks are gonna go for like two hours in the oven, just covered up and hanging out in that beautifully flavored liquid. I'm using cremini mushrooms tonight, but you can use whatever kind of mushrooms you like. That looks good. Now, bed of veggies, okay? You can use a little bit of olive oil in here. A little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. And a little bit of salt. I always like a little bit of spice. You could add chili flakes or a dash of cayenne. And I'm just gonna toss these veggies, make them happy. Next, I'm going to slather these guys with some Merlot barbecue sauce from Napa Jacks. You can find them online um, at winecountrykitchens.com. That's where you can get all of these guys and their beautiful Napa Jack spice rubs. Fantastic stuff. They also have mustards and things like that from Napa Jacks. Yum. So I'm just gonna coat these all over with this barbecue sauce, okay? Oh, that's good. Ooh, that's nice and flavorful. It's spicy, it's savory, it's tangy. You can taste that beautiful wine. Beef and red wine are somewhat of best friends. They do really well together. I mean, they flavor each other very nicely. A little bit of pepper on my beef. I'm gonna put them on top of these vegetables. Nestle them on top. I'm gonna add a nice bay leaf to the mixture here and sprinkle with some mustard seeds just for good measure. Just a favor. Now for the liquid I'm braising with tonight, I'm going to use a nice local wine. It's a red wine. If you have Merlot, you can find it. Go ahead and use Merlot if you want to. Tonight I'm using a 2012 Malbec from Rancourt Winery. Make sure you check out my review on this. It's very, very delicious and it's local. Really cool winery out of Niagara-on-the-Lake. Good thing I have another bottle. So I'm going to add, I don't know, maybe a half a cup, maybe a third of a cup of this wine. You don't want it to uh, completely cover everything in any way. You're actually going to cover this up completely so that it uh, raises and the liquid stays in there. So this is roasting with moisture, okay? Now my oven is preheated to 350 degrees and I'm just going to cover this with some aluminum foil. I like to spray my foil so it doesn't stick to anything that I'm covering it with. And seal that up nicely. We're gonna let this go for a good hour. I'm gonna check it maybe in an hour and see how we're doing. And uh, it's probably gonna take maybe two to really tenderize up and get that meat nice and, and falling apart and juicy, okay? So there, I'm gonna show it to you actually, because I didn't show it to you. 
this is what we have going on. So we've got the meat on top of veggies with the wine in there. Beautiful. Now you could use wine, you could use beer, you could use any kind of other liqueur or alcohol. You could use whiskey if you wanted to. Uh, you could use chicken stock or you could use water. So it's really just up to you, okay? Or beef stock into the oven. All right, this has been in for nearly an hour now. Make sure you're opening things away from you so that the steam doesn't burn you. And it smells amazing. I wish that you could actually smell this. Now I'm just going to turn them over. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm going to baste them quickly again with some barbecue sauce. And if you have the time, let these guys keep going for even another hour. I want them to be nice and tender and delicious. Oh boy, pretty good. Okay, back on. All those veggies are starting to mingle together in there and soften up and giving their flavors to the juice as well. So it's gonna be a really flavorful dinner. And it's gonna be nice liquid to put on your rice as well as those veggies. I wish you could smell this because the whole house just smells like deliciousness. Oh, that looks great. We're getting to move on. Okay, so I know everything is nice and tender in here, but I'm just going to check this meat a little bit. Yes, that looks nice and tender. What I'm going to do though to finish this off is I'm going to put it under the broiler for a couple minutes just to kind of, you know, crisp up that top just a little bit now that it's nice and tender. So in the meantime, I'm just going to let it sit for a couple minutes because I'm making a gorgeous salad. Make sure you check out that recipe. It's a green salad with pomegranate and apple, and I'm making a lovely pomegranate white balsamic vinaigrette. Check those two recipes out. Okay, I'm gonna flip these guys one more time and I'm gonna hit them up with that uh, sauce right before I throw it under the broiler. These look fantastic. They are so tender. A little bit more. I have my broiler on high. I'm gonna leave the oven door ajar so that I can watch it. I don't wanna burn it, but I do wanna get the brownness on the top because that's just delicious flavor and it's you know a little bit nice texture and it's going to caramelize that sauce up a little bit awesome into the oven it goes all right it's done i let that go for about five minutes under the broiler it's nice and uh, crisped up a little bit the vegetables look fabulous this smells amazing oh my goodness well, let's serve this up. I can't wait. The uh, vegetables and the steaks have drank up all that delicious, flavorful liquid. Oh, look at that. It's juicy. It's falling apart. It's going to be amazing. So get some vegetables. Scatter those about the plate. I'm serving this up with some rice. Some carrots and some bell pepper and some mushrooms. Maybe a little bit of that liquid. There you have it, that's a delicious looking meal. A little bit of rice, this gorgeous, tender, tender steak, and these lovely vegetables. So let's take a bite. Oh, it just pulls apart with the knife. I don't even have to cut it. Gorgeous. Mmm. 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 That is so full of flavor. It's rich, it's beefy. Mm. Mm. Oh, those vegetables are great. Mm. Mm. Full of flavor. Lovely with the rice. This beef is so tender. Look at this, it's just falling apart. You can see the little grains. Look at that. It's just falling apart. So tender. Mm, all that connective tissue has gotten so nice and soft. Mm. Serve it with a little extra if you want to. Mm. This sauce is so phenomenal. Mm. Mm. That's how to do it. Mm. Mm. It's rich. It's full body. It's just what you want when it's cold outside, which it is today. 
It's tender, it's juicy, it's lovely. I hope that you try this recipe out. And check out Wine Country Kitchens online at winecountrykitchens.com for Napa Jacks, barbecue sauces and spice rubs, and all kinds of delicious, delicious products that you are absolutely gonna love. All right, so make sure that you try this recipe too. I hope that you do. This is how to braise Napa Jacks Merlot barbecue cross rib steaks. That's how you do it, nice and tender. You don't have to worry about a tough steak on the grill. It's a nice way to do it with the braised um, beef. And the vegetables, you can mix and match. You can use any kind of mushrooms you like. You can use turnips or parsnips or, or squash or whatever you like on the bottom, celery, you name it, okay? That's that, that's it. Try it, you're gonna love it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe, interact with us, and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Oh, that's good. Mm.